Well, one of the reasons these birds are so interesting to us in Minnesota is that they are one of the most monogamous birds out there. Talking trumpeter swans this morning and during this year's open of waterfowl season, the Wild ha Wildlife Rehab Center admitted more trumpeter swans for bullet wounds than ever before. Mm. Now, Allie, you went over to the rehab center, so you're here to explain why this is. Yeah, I was just there a couple weeks ago, and waterfowl season started in late September, and the number of swans that have received treatment at this local wildlife rehab center that I visited, that number is at eight. Ooh. Relatively low, but this morning we introduced you to a pair of swans admitted to the hospital last month. Here at the Wildlife Rehab Center in Roseville, hospital workers see these kind of bird injuries quite frequently. So yeah, he's got four pins sticking out. This cob, the male trumpeter swan, is recovering from surgery on his left wing. He's healing pretty well, and the female had fractures as well from being shot. However, she was caught later, so those fractures had already started to heal. The cop was shot by hunters on a lake near Zimmerman. Witnesses helped rescue the male almost immediately and delivered it to the rehab center on October 10th. Veterinarian Renee Schott says recovery time takes usually four to six weeks. This wing needs to be pretty near perfect to be released. This is the x-ray of the male swan after he was shot, and this is the x-ray after the surgery was done. You can see the four pins put in place to secure that wing. You can see that this bone is now well aligned. It was upon examining these x-rays that Schaff noticed the female trumpeter swan, or pen, that was admitted two weeks after the male was his mate. <laughs> Being able to reunite them is a really great thing, but that they recognize each other, that's gonna decrease their stress level immensely. So they're gonna heal faster just because they're in the same place. <laughs> It's illegal to shoot trumpeter swans in the state of Minnesota. Shot was hopeful that the reunion would help speed up the recovery process. But one month after being admitted to the hospital, the male swan passed away. Executive director of the Wildlife Rehab Center, Phil Jenny, isn't sure if the shooting was intentional. There were also other people in the vicinity who witnessed the swans starting to fly in and then being shot. And Lori Nauman with the DNR believes the higher number of trumpeter swans being admitted to the hospital this season is for two reasons. They see this white thing and they're not entirely sure what it is. The other, she says, is due to inexperienced or uninformed hunters. Regardless, the DNR is trying to do their best to make sure trumpeter swans don't become regular visitors here at the rehab center. The cob was sent to the University of Minnesota Diagnostic Lab for a necropsy, but the test results have yet to come back. Do we know the status of the investigation? Right now, three hunters have been charged in the investigation. However, two of them have paid their fines. One has not. So until all three have paid their fines, the investigation remains open. Wow. And the fine is mm. serious money, too. $1,200 yeah. for shooting trumpeter wow. swans. Mm -hmm. yeah. The message, trying to get it out. Exactly. Hopefully they can educate some of these hunters. Yes, yeah. uh, they, the DNR told me that sometimes they uh, see snow geese and think oh. that they might be snow geese rather okay. than trumpeter swans. Yeah. Sure. You have to take that extra moment mm -hmm. and think before you fire. Thanks, mm -hmm. Ellie.